Okay, well, welcome to another quick uh, product review. Um, if you have been waiting for the laser strike follow up, if you've looked at any of uh, my knife videos at all, I uh, apologize for not getting that to you yet. I've been really, really uh, behind here at work. I'm also preparing for an international uh, trip that I have coming up at the end of June, and I've been putting a lot of time in uh, research and, and getting some stuff ready for that. So I will try to get some videos up by the middle of June. Um, if you're just looking for the iPhone 4S case review, um, that's obviously uh, the point of this video. I'm sorry for talking about the others, but anybody that's subscribed to the channel or, or been looking for uh, videos on some other products, um, I, I apologize for not getting those up yet. On with uh, the product review in question. This is the Griffin Survivor Case for the iPhone 4 4S. I do have an iPhone 4S in here. Um, now Griffin does make a similar product for the iPad, uh, the iPod Touches, um, and uh, uh, previous versions of the iPhone. Um, I do have the same case for the iPad 2 and I will be bringing a review of that maybe within the next week or two. I, it's a review I can get done much quicker. Uh, pros and cons to all the cases, but this video is specifically for the Griffin case uh, for the iPhone 4 slash 4. 4S, again, a 4S in this one here. If you are interested in the iPad 2 case, check back soon as I hope to bring you that review as well. Um, so this is the basic setup. This is an olive green. My original one uh, was ordered in black. I did get my cases uh, from Amazon. They were prime fulfilled, not directly um, supplied by Amazon. I can't remember where the first one came from. Ordered it in black, received one for an iPod Touch, which obviously did me no good. It went back. Uh, Amazon was great. They, um, I have a Prime um, membership, uh, which gives me two day, but I needed this for a backpacking trip, and they overnighted it at no additional charge to get me the replacement. Uh, I did it in such a rush, I didn't realize I got it in military green. Not a big deal, but since my primary purpose for getting this case was to use in backpacking, um, Obviously, you can see where olive green could present a problem if it were dropped in, um, you know, foliage or, or uh, any type of uh, greenery at all. Of course, black isn't much more helpful, but, you know, green is, well, it is sort of a camouflage. So, anyway, but nothing, no complaints on the color there. These are available, I think, in pinks and other you know, fancy colors you can find online. Um, I do recommend looking at Amazon. They have them a lot more reasonably priced uh, from a variety of popular vendors. Then you'll probably be able to find them retail unless you find a significant sale. But on to the review. Um, this is a front clipping uh, belt clip here. Um, there is kind of this uh, little indention here. This little bubble dip that corresponds with the home screen button on the front of the case, so you always know which is up and down. Um, rotating click locking belt clip. Um, this won't just spring open. It's actually got a lock here on the base, a snap in lock, so you have to kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a release. Um, and that's going to help this stay on your belt clip. You can see it pops open there. Um, I've never attempted to use it as a stand, um, which you might be able to do. Again, I'm using this for. Um, yeah, you can use it as a stand, which I thought you could. There you go. Um, you can use it as a stand. It does bow a little bit in the back because of the fit. Um, maybe it'll go better the other way. Again, I'm not using this for that purpose. I purchased this. Um, yeah, it fits better that way. Um, I'm using this for protection in the woods, but there you go. This would be cool, like maybe on a plane um, or something like that. If you're just bored um, and you want to watch a video or, or, or something like that, it could be helpful. But anyway, that's the, the clip. I don't use it. In fact, I left it at home. Um, but this is good having this lock here because that's going to keep it on your on your, on your your belt. And then this would uh, just secure the phone in and out. Um, I'm not a big fan of belt clips. They typically dig into my hip and I just find them uncomfortable. But that's... That's a quick look at the, the uh, belt clip there. Let's get that out of the way. On to the case. All right, so overall, let me just put it this way. Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this case about an 8.5. For protection, it's really high. Um, there's not going to be a lot of cases out there that are going to protect your phone better than this case right here. I'm not going to drop test it or shoot it with paint guns. You can check other videos for that. But for general... Um, protection against drops, bumps, dings, um, dust, debris, um, this is going to be a really good solution. The best I've found so far. Unfortunately, in my opinion, again, that's all this is, is my opinion, but with that, um, there are some limitations and some drawbacks. So, Overall, the case looks just like the one for the iPads. If you've seen those, you've got these uh, ridges here for the belt clip to adhere to. 
Um, you've got hard shell here in the minute. This is all rubberized. This is like a silicone. Um, the extra reinforced on the corners, which is really nice. Um, no problem really getting to the buttons. You can see the case depressed there a little bit um, when I press the buttons down, but it's it's tactile. I don't have any problems get to it. Um, the um, buttons are a lot easier to get to on this than on the iPad. And you can see the phone's on silent right now because um, there's a chance of getting text messages or phone calls when you have a live cell phone uh, during a, a product review. Uh, right now it's on silent, but it, it's not really that difficult to get in there. It, it's kind of tight, but I mean, I have fat fingers and I don't have a problem getting them in there and it snaps back uh, pretty easily. I do find that when I pull this uh, in and out of my uh, pocket or uh, if you do use the belt clip, grabbing it tends to flick that open, just punch it back in place, no big deal. Um, this button down here is very, very uh, easy to use. It doesn't have any type of resilience to touch. The problem with that is sometimes it's a little bit too... Um, loose I would guess you'd say it's too alive and bumping this around in a bag or something can bring that up not a problem since your screen will be locked but if your battery is getting low and and it constantly is popping that screen up I guess it could present a problem um, this side there's no buttons on the phone top um, there's your hold button right there uh, no issues getting to that it's very very tactile um, responds very well better than again the iPad case and this is very easy to get to the headset jack now if you have an L-shaped headset jack that's real fat or any type of headset um, jack that's really fat it may have a hard time getting in there because it makes room for both the noise cancellation microphone and the built-in headset and because of that you may find that certain thickness of headsets don't uh, fit well in there. Uh, all of mine are fairly thin, so I haven't had a problem with it, but that's something to keep in mind. The only part on the front of the phone that's exposed at all to the elements at any given time are the opening cutouts up here along where the earphone is. There's like, I, let me count them, uh, five little bitty holes punched in to allow sound to come through. If you can see on the screen, I don't want to pull it too, too close because I've got the camera actually manually focused um, at this distance, but you might see some little what appears to be cutouts. I actually have have a screen protector on my phone underneath this. So that's not actually part of the case. Um, the case itself has just holes cut right along there, just enough to let the sound come through, and uh, the clear plastic provides you uh, access to your sensors and your front-facing camera if need be. Um, I've heard some people say that they've had some uh, bubbling or some watermarking, if you want to call it, against the screen. Um, the screen's not particularly clean on my phone right now, but I don't have that issue. And the in the oily issues or the, the issues with um, any type of protectors are going to just be rampant um, with any time you put something in front of your phone. But I find these to be fine. Uh, I haven't had any problems with, with uh, you know, functionality. You can hear a little bit of a tap as the plastic makes contact with the actual screen, you know? I don't know if you can hear that, but it's nothing big at all. I have I had no problems with screen functionality. The only problem with it is this lip here, this recess is pretty high, about a quarter of an inch or so. And so if you are trying to text, either way, this can get in the in the problem with your buttons here. So if I go over and try to get this P, I'm not having a problem now, but I'm having to dig in that corner because if I do it on the fly, you know, th that can present uh, a problem for textures unless you have just very narrow fingers. Um, in addition, uh, if you are like me, I don't think the iPhone's particularly awesome at this anyway, but if you're wanting to drag an icon over against that, you have to really kind of force it over there to make sure that that doesn't, um, you know, stop. Uh, iPhones have a tendency when you're trying to move your icons around uh, to have a problem at the edge anyway with most cases. This one's even more extreme, so just keep that in mind. But nothing that's going to break the bank, nothing's going to prevent you from being able to get away with using your phone. Just some things to keep in mind. Again, sacrifices you make for having this type of case. Um, you can always set your icons up in, um, you know, iTunes itself. Um, the biggest drawback that I think I found with the case is regard to the bottom. Um, the speakers and the microphone are covered by this thick rubber uh, gasket, almost if you will, because it sits in there pretty well. That's really deep in recess. And there's holes punched through these grates to allow sound to travel. Um, sound coming out, I, I find to be okay. Uh, it's not obviously as, as quite as clear as um, having... Um, you know, this just exposed like that, but pretty good. Um, and this stays in there pretty well. No problems getting my charger in there. 
Um, I have a standard charger. Obviously, this is probably not going to work on a dock, but again, a sacrifice you take into account almost any time you add a case to your phone. Um, the issue I did find was with the speaker. I did on occasion have a couple people, um, several actually, uh, say that they couldn't hear me very well or sounded muffled. And my only assumption is that maybe all these holes aren't completely punched through or this just doesn't do a good job of accepting sound into the microphone. Pop a headset in, no problem. Use the microphone built into the headset, you're fine. Um, but, uh, you know, that's something that you want. I did find myself when I was um, using this in speaker, pop Popping this up and setting it like this or upside down so that my sound, my voice wasn't obstructed. Um, that's the biggest limitation as far as use of the phone. The other thing is this camera cover here. Um, very well designed. It stays in place. This little groove right here is to hold this front little um, uh, hunk of rubber and sometimes if the conditions are really dry or really cool it'll, it'll pop out really easy but as you can see it stays in there pretty good if you have a tendency to take a lot of pictures you got a little dust in there with your phone this can be annoying going back and forth but again it's designed to protect your phone i was out in the woods i did take some pictures with it and i kind of had to remember um you know why is my screen black oh i've got that thing covered up it stays in there pretty well um if it's really really moist it can also slide out too but kind of wiggle it in there and it does tend to stay again way better than the ones on the ipad case. Uh, pictures on a problem, standard. If you add flash, you will get ghosting. Um, apparently, this part of the lip right here causes a sort of a snoot effect. If you're familiar at all with photography, it actually funnels the light too much forward, and it kind of balances the beam back into the camera lens uh, from this side here. I'll put some pictures up now to show you what I'm talking about, kind of before and afters. Nothing spectacular, but you can see what I'm talking about. I do find the more the light has to be put out with the flash, um, so if it's a lot lower light conditions, a lot more um, extreme is this problem. Um, but again, the camera works fine, and the and the cover for this is actually pretty darn good. Um, but you do get some ghosting uh, with um, the flash. The other issue is right here where this case goes together. I'll show you how it comes apart. Um, these little rubber nodules that stick down in here have a tendency to flake up like that, especially going in and out of a pocket. You grab it by the corner and you can kind of see it comes right out. Again, nothing detrimental. It's more annoying than anything else. And mine has a tendency to do it more on the right side. Um, this is the breakdown. I'll close the video up with this. Again, good quality uh, silicone. I haven't had any problems with durability or, or anything with this. Um, I have not dropped this iPhone. I have, my iPad did slip out, same case on. And again, you take the size into account. It's a lot more uh, fragile. It hit the corner and it did bounce from a height of about three and a half, four feet. It s slipped out of my lap and bounced. So I can vouch for the fact that these do have the potential to protect really well. The inside, you just got a front and back shell. And again, all these little things right here are grippies for the outer case and then this is a solid sheet of plastic underneath with just that exposure there. Um, I was out in the woods, it did rain. Um, I did have the camera out in a little bit of rain or the phone out in a little bit of rain, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't have any problems with moisture seeping in. Again, you wanna kinda keep it off um, your speaker there if at all possible. As you can see, it's not real hard to get this back together. You just kinda punch it all in place and you're good to go. Um, but you know, you don't want to use this in a torrential downpour. It's not waterproof by any means, but moisture, um, you know, grabbing it real quick. If you're in the shower, <laughs> I've done this, reach out and grab it and answer a phone call. Uh, no, no problems there. So as far as protection, very well suited for the iPhone 4, uh, iPhone 4S. It's good. It doesn't have a lot of wiggly freedom to it. It's not cheaply made by any means. Just keep in mind you have the issue with the, the speaker with regard to your sound going into the phone. Um, depends on your make uh, um, or how your holes are cut, I guess. But I did have that experience myself. You use a headset, um, you're, you're not going to have a problem there. Uh, ghosting um, with the flash through this back end. Um, a little bit of slippages here on the outside and, and keeping this um, in there. Remember, moving your applications around on your screen and texting can be a problem with these vertical walls. Uh, but overall, very well-designed case. You always make a compromise anytime you put something this huge on top of your iPhone. Uh, online, you can find them right around $29 to $33. I think they're about $40 in stores. Um, I think it's well worth the money. 
if the ghosting or the speed are going to be a huge problem to you, maybe look elsewhere. Um, I've compared this to a lot of uh, other cases. I don't particularly have the gumdrop anymore. I can compare it directly to I, a friend had it, but got rid of it, so I couldn't borrow it for comparison. I do like this better, but it is a little bit heftier. It does look more ruggedized. So if aesthetics aren't a big deal to you, then this will be fine. Again, I got it just to put on my phone when I go backpacking. I take it out of it when I'm not doing product reviews. And... Um, uh, I find it to be very good for that particular use as long as you can find it if you were to drop it. All right, guys. Well, until next time, I hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions, uh, leave them below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And uh, until next time, be safe.